Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, it is going to be based on introduction to matrices. And I have three key points to discuss about in this particular tutorial. We have definition of a matrix, order of a matrix, and position of every element in a particular matrix. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Now let us begin with the first one. Definition of a matrix. This matrix is just the singular form of matrices. Matrices is the plural form. A matrix is a rectangular arrangement of elements. And these elements could be numbers or even characters. Arranged in a particular number of rows and columns. This matrix is represented by an uppercase letter, while the elements in a matrix are donated by lowercase letters if dealing with variables. So now let us see how we can represent a matrix. Suppose we have a matrix A, remember, it is donated by a capital letter, sometimes written in bold form. Suppose this is a matrix of numbers like 2, 3, 1, and 5. 2, 3, 1, and 5 are said to be the elements of this matrix A. And they are enclosed under a bracket. So, the vertical arrangement of elements, these are said to be in vertical form. The vertical arrangement are said to be the columns. So we have columns. We have two columns. While these ones horizontally are said to be the rows. So we have two rows and two columns in this particular matrix. We may have another matrix, say B, of letters A, B, and C in this form. So a matrix must not be necessary all in the same format. You can see this one has two rows, but this one has only single row, but three columns. We may have another matrix C of the form uh, maybe A, B, C, D, E and F. This is a matrix of three rows and two columns. We may have another matrix like this of numbers like say two, three, five, only having a single column where you can see we have three rows. You may even have a single element in a matrix. This it's also a matrix. So this is how a matrix is represented under a bracket, and those elements under the bracket are said to be the element of this matrices. You have, we have A, B, C, D, and E. And vertical arrangement are said to be the columns, while the horizontal arrangement are said to be the rows. So this is all about definition and representation of matrix. Let us talk about the second one, which is the order of a matrix. The order of a matrix is just the dimension of that particular matrix according to the number of rows and columns in that particular matrix. Always you have to start from the rows followed by the columns. Now let us talk about A. A matrix A is of the order two by two. Why? Because this matrix has one row, two rows, one column, two columns. So the number of rows by the number of columns. We are talking about orders. Let me even write it here. Order of a matrix. Matrix B is of the order one by three. This is one by three because it only has 
a single row but has three columns. Mattress C, we are talking about orders. One, two, three. So this is three by one, two. Remember, always start from the rows, followed by the columns. Matrix D is one, two, three by one because it only has a single column. And last but not the least, which is matrix E, has only one row and one column. So this is all about order of matrix. It's just the dimension of that particular matrix according to the number of rows and columns of that matrix. Position of elements, coming to the last one. Position of elements in a particular matrix. Remember I told you these are the elements. We have two, one, three, five here. We have A, B, C, we have A, B, C, D, E, F. We have two, three, five, we have two. All these are said to be the elements. And each element in a particular matrix is said to be unique meaning it has a way of identifying that particular element alone. Okay. Coming to position, let's consider this matrix A. This matrix A has four elements. But what is the position of this two? This two, you can see it is from the first row and first column as well. One is from the first row, second column. This is second row, first column, second row, second column. So this is how to identify each element there so we can represent them. Uh, and this order can be written in subscript form. Let me show you how. Uh, the first element, the top left corner, is A11, followed by A12, followed by A21, then A22. So now if you relate this matrix to this matrix, 2 is said to be A11. 1 is said to be A12, 3 is said to be A21, and 5, last but not the least, is said to be A22. What does this mean? It means that 2 is an element at first row, first column. 1 is also an element at first row, second column. Three second row, first column, five, second row, second column. So you can see they are unique because none of this representation is similar to another. They are all unique. This is A11, A12, A21, and A22. So what about this? This one is uh, at first row and then first column first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. You have to write them in subscript form, just beneath the element. This is how to identify them. Uh, this is the first row, so this is first, first, second, second, third, third. Then according to column, this is first column, second column, first column, second column, first column, second column. So F is an element uh, at the third row, second column. This one as well, you can see all of them are from the, the same column, but different rows, row one, row two, row three, but all the columns are the same. Well, what about this? first column, first row. So this is all about position. The position is said to be exactly where that element is located. 
according to the row and column. So in general, in general, in general, every element is donated by A, I, I, J, where I is the row and J is the column. where i and j are said to be positive integers from one to infinity like this one you can see i is said to be equal to one here i is said to be also equal to one here but j is one here j is two here i hope you're getting it so this is the general form of the position of every element in a particular matrix so I think this is all I have for you today. Subsequently, well, let me say in the next class, we shall see the different types of matrices. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.